Hello everyone, welcome you back in my geography class. This is your Devika ma'am and today we will continue with the chapter of major landforms of the earth of class 6. In our last videos, we have already discussed about the landforms. We have discussed about the processes which are responsible for the formation of different landforms. We have also discussed that based on the elevation and slope, there are three major landforms and they are mountains, plateaus and plains. We had a detailed explanation on the mountains, on its different types and also on the importance of mountains. Today we will have a detailed discussion on plateaus which is another major landform of the earth. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started and let us know what are plateaus. What are plateaus? A plateau is an elevated flat topped land standing above the surrounding area. So what is a plateau? A plateau is an elevated flat top land standing above the surrounding area. Now why we are calling plateau as an flat top land? Here we have a diagram of a plateau and we can see that the top of the plateau is exactly flat. So we can say that it is flat top land because the top of the plateau land is flat. Now if you will see the top of the plateau we can identify that it actually resembles a table. So we can also say that it is a flat topped table land. So we can say that plateau looks like a table. So we can call it as a table land. So if we define plateau, we can say that a plateau is an elevated flat topped table land standing above the surrounding area. Now when we talk about the slopes, plateaus may have steep slopes on both the sides. Or they may have steep slopes on one side or steep slopes on one side and gentle slopes on the other. What do you mean by steep and what are gentle slopes? Now here we can see this is referred as a gentle slope. This is referred as a steep slope. Gentle means it is quite smooth and steep that means it is not correctly straight. So we can say that plateaus may have steep slopes on both sides or it may have steep slopes on one side or steep slopes on one side and gentle slopes on the other. Here in the diagram we have gentle slopes on one side and steep slopes on the other side. We can also take the example of the Deccan Plateau which has steep slopes on one side and gentle slopes on the other. That means we can say that the Deccan Plateau has both steep and gentle slopes. Now let us know about the height of the plateaus. Now when we are talking about the height of the plateaus, plateaus may vary in heights from few hundred meters 
to few thousand meters. Generally, we call any landform as a plateau if it is standing above the surrounding area above 300 meters. So generally, any landform can be called a plateau if it has a flat topped land and it is standing above the surrounding area above 300 meter then we can call it as a plateau now when we are talking about the plateaus we should also know that how are plateaus formed now plateaus are formed by the tectonic activities by the volcanic activities by rivers and wind. So we can say that plateaus can be formed due to the tectonic activities that mean due to the movement of the plates, due to the volcanic activities that mean due to the eruption of the volcano or due to the action of rivers and wind. Now as we have read in mountains that mountains are classified into different types on the basis of age Plateaus are also classified into young and old plateaus on the basis of its age. There are other types of plateaus also like the intermontane plateaus. Lava plateaus. We have Pedmont plateaus, dissected plateaus, and etc. So on the basis of age, there can be old and young plateaus. There can be other types of plateaus also like the intermountain plateaus, lava plateaus, pedmont plateaus, and dissected plateaus. Now let us look at some of the examples of the plateaus. Now, talking about the examples of the plateaus, the Deccan Plateau in India is one of the oldest plateaus in the world. Now let us know which is the highest plateau. The Tibet Plateau or Tibetan Plateau are the highest plateau in the world with a height of 4,000 to 6,000 meters above the sea level and this is also known as the roof of the world. So which is the highest plateau in the world? The Tibetan plateau or we can say the Tibet plateau with a height of 4,000 to 6,000 meter above the sea level is the highest plateau in the world and it is also known as the roof of the world. Now let us know about some other examples. Some other examples of plateaus are the East African plateau. in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda, the Western Plateau of Australia, 
are some of the other examples of Plato. Now let us know about the importance of Plato. That how are Plato's important? Importance of Plato's. Now we will see that Plato's are rich in mineral resources. As the Plato's are rich in mineral resources, so we will see that many of the mining areas of the world are located here in the Plato region. like the African Plato which are rich in diamond and gold mining. We have the Chota Nagpur Plato which has huge reserves of iron, coal, manganese. So we can say that Plato's are rich in mineral resources and thus many of the mining areas of the world are located here in the Plato regions. Now Plato's are not only rich in mineral resources but we will see that many waterfalls are found in the Plato region. Now what are waterfalls? Waterfalls means when water falls from a great height. It forms a waterfall. Now why waterfalls are found in the Plato region? Now the plateau is rocky and of varying altitude. Hence, during the flow of water, the rivers has to pass through areas of different heights or we can say different altitudes. Now what happens when suddenly the river passes through a region of high altitude to a region of low altitude or we can say to a high altitude area to a low altitude area, it takes a form of a fall and that we call a waterfall. So what is a waterfall? When water falls from a great height, it forms a waterfall and here in the Plato region we can find several waterfalls like the Hundru waterfalls which are found on the Suvarnirekha river in Chotanagpur Plato The Jok Falls on the Sharavati River in Karnataka. These waterfalls are very important to generate hydroelectricity. Now let us know some other importance of plateaus. There are lava plateaus. Now what are lava plateaus? Lava plateaus are the plateaus which are formed due to the cooling of lava on the Earth's surface. Now what happens when there is a volcanic eruption? The magma which is inside the earth it comes out and we call it as lava. 
So the lava comes out to the earth's surface through the cracks in the earth's crust. Now when this lava comes out, it flows to a great extent and it covers an extensive area. So we can say that it flows over extensive area because it is in liquid form or we can say it is viscous. So when there is a volcanic eruption, the lava which is erupted, it flows over extensive area. This lava is mainly of basaltic origin. So it cools down or we can say it solidifies, it forms rocks. These rocks are broken into smaller pieces by the action of wind, rain, water, ice and it forms black soil. The black soil which is formed is very fertile and best for the cultivation of cotton and sugarcane. So we can say that the black soil that is found in the lava plateau are fertile and best for the cultivation of cotton and sugarcane. Plateaus are also famous for its scenic spots and we can say that every year it attracts a large number of tourists. So we can say Plato's are a great attraction to tourists. So this are the importance of Plato's. So in this video, we have discussed about Plato's, how are Plato's formed and the importance of Plato's. I hope all of you understood the topics that we have covered in today's video. Still, if you have any problem or any question, you can ask the question by just a comment in the comment box given below. So you can write the question in the comment box and I will give you the answer if you still have any problem. Do like, share and subscribe my channel to watch more upcoming videos. Stay tuned. I will be back soon with a new video and a new topic. Till then, take care and stay safe. Thank you.